So, Calyrex Shadow is being suspect tested in the Gen 9 Uber Steer and potentially might get banned. And uh, you know, Calyrex Shadow is one of the Pokemon that returned to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet with Pokemon Home compatibility a few days ago. And it was originally suspect tested in Gen 8 as well, in Gen 8 Ubers. And uh, it did not get banned. And it's now being suspect tested again. And it was initially quick banned and retested after. And I'm pretty sure this is the fastest quick ban in the Uber steer throughout all of the generations. Which is, you know, says a lot. But yeah, uh, the reason it was quick banned and now retested is because uh, they state that right here, Calyrex Shadow has been quick banned instead of just suspect tested due to Uber's open going on and UPL starting very shortly. We didn't believe a staple healthy metagame would show through in those tournaments with Terra, Calyrex Shadow Legal. So we're quick banning for those tournaments, but maintaining it on the ladder for the duration of the suspect test. So basically, um, there are tournaments going on. They quick banned it, so it's not allowed in the tournaments, but it's, it's still available on the Gen and Uber's ladder. And you can, of course, freely participate in this uh, suspect test and vote if you meet the requirements. All right. So why is Calyrex Shadow being suspect tested again? Now, first, uh, I want let's take a look at what actually makes Calyrex Shadow so strong. Now, this Pokemon has incredible offense stats: 165 base special attack stat, 150 base speed stat. This is the fastest Pokemon in the Uber tier, uh, apart from Regieleki, and it is also one of the strongest. You know, if you just sort by special text that yeah Calyrex Shadow is second you have Hoopa but Hoopa is not used really in Ubers so yeah strongest Pokemon in the tier pretty much also the fastest Pokemon in the tier Ghost Psychic type Ghost is a very good offensive typing you have the S1 ability it's a combination of Unerf and Grimnay now Unerf is not really that relevant but Grimnay gives a special tech boost after a KO so it can even snowball very easily you have Astro Barrage, it's signature move, 120 base power, ghost move, no drawbacks, no drawbacks. Then you have Psy Shock that can break through uh, any special that could potentially take a hit. And of course, you got Terra Blast with Terra Fighting, or you got Terra Fairy with Draining Kiss. And last move, you have Nasty Blood. This is the set that is problematic. And of course, the Terra Blast fighting set. But uh, yeah, this is what is making it problematic right now. Choice sets are, of course, very strong, but they have more counterplay and are, you know, not as restricting. Yeah, this, this is basically Calyrex Shadow in a nutshell. Now, the reasoning. This time around, it has Terra Stylization, like we mentioned, mentioned earlier. This allows it to go Terrify to Terra Fairy and break through Dark Types, which could otherwise counter it. And its biggest counter, Ivaltol, is not in the game. And one, as one of the best soft pivots into this Pokemon, Ho-Oh, also not in the game. Now, uh, yeah, they're already saying it here. Terra Fighting is the main offender, taking down Arcus Normal and Dark, which could otherwise check this Pokemon reliably. It can also take down Ting Lu. And it can take down any uh, b less bulkier but more offensive dark types like Chin, Chi Yu, and Chin Pao, who could otherwise threaten it with a revenge kill. So Chi Yu could threaten it with Choice Scarf Dark Pulse, and Chin Pao could threaten it with Sucker Punch. But you have a Terra Fighting, Terra Fairy, you cannot do that anymore. You know, already, already mentioning Terra Fairy as well. The Sucker Punch resist, yeah, pretty much uh, what I said. So yeah, this versatility in changing types completely flips the already very few bad matchup Calyrex Shadow has. Because yeah, this it, its bulk is not the greatest on Uber standards. So yeah, it is susceptible to priority attacks, especially super effective priority attacks. But yeah, it can negate those sucker punches and uh, faster dark pulses by terrestrializing. So yeah, once it gets going as one, it's just as powerful as ever. Yeah, it can very easily snowball out of control with a nest blood boost after a KO. So stopping it likely requires multiple Pokemon if it brings a set 
to beat a few potential checks. This was even the case in Gen 8 Ubers. Even if you had Ivelto on the team, people would still bring another Cavalier's check just in case. That's just how strong this Pokemon was. Uh, the best answers to Calyrex Shadow is able to be up E-Killer. Uh, E-Killer for you guys and don't know that is uh, normal Arceus with extreme speed sword stance. Uh, it's a uh, pretty uh, famous set throughout the Ubers generations and it's shortened to as E-Killer. So E-Killer who is the only Arceus that can hold an item for longevity like leftovers for the boots. While also being immune to as for Brush. But yeah terrifying completely does not care about this Pokemon. It threatens his one hit KO on even most bulky Arceus sets after a nasty plot. And the opportunity cost of max special defense arc is already high due to it needing attack investment to pose an offensive threat. So yeah, the, that's the problem. If you want special bulk so you're more likely to take hits, you don't have the offensive power to threaten this Pokemon back. And if you do invest in attack, then you lack the bulk to take hits more easily. And even then, the most bulky Pokemon, Arceus variants can even get one hit killed by Terrorblast Fighting. Arceus Dark, pretty much the same case, but it's also weak to uh, Terra Fairy Training Kiss. And the formerly other Dark types are only reliable against the more niche choice sets that don't run Terrorblast. So yeah, uh, choice can be dealt with, but Nasty Plot, Terrorblast, nah. -uh. So not always perfect for Calyrex Shadow though, as it's one of the Say, and it has, still has the same few flaws as in Generation 8. Like I said, very frill. So speed control and priority being very common. It's yeah, it doesn't like that. But it can ignore Sucker Punch with its stereotyping. Uh, it also does not like hazards being harder to remove. So yeah, it can be worn down slowly by switching in. But I would say this is a two-way street. I think that's, that's the saying, right? Because you can also put down hazards on the opposing side. It makes it easier for Calyrex Shadow to sweep. So it lost Aromatherapy, which was its big utility move in Generation 8. Yeah, but it works both ways. Uh, same shit. So, yeah, it could use Aromatherapy to remove status from itself and its teammates. Um, but, uh, and the opponent could do that too, but now that's no longer there. Uh, yeah, they mentioned it again. Finally, Terrestrialization remains unpredictable. So sometimes it can fall to very specific decks designed to, be, to, uh, to bait certain sets. Those are far riskier to use on a team than Calyrex Shadow with its offensive terror sets. And Calyrex Shadow can also use midguns like Shysha, Competential, Terra Norm, Pokemon, or just Brute Force them thanks to S1 Shadow or Snowballing. Yeah. So yeah, Terra Stylization is also a big part in this. It's just too unpredictable. Let's say even you do send out your Chimpao, you cover Sucker Punch, this boy goes Terra Fighting, there goes your Chimpao. So yeah, being reliant on your Pokemon terrestrializing to potentially beat it is not healthy for metagame at all and is very uncompetitive so yeah that brings up the question why not Pantera? I mean that's clearly the problem right? so they have a reason for that uh, you know since this question will come up I'll address it here after discussing with the daring mission it was decided that the best way to approach the problem would be tackle to, to tackle Calyrex Shadow first and see how the meta deals with other threats later on. I assume they mean uh, threats with terrestrialization. Calyrex Shadow is a clear outlier power, and terrestrialization is a controversial mechanic that defines the generation and has survived the only official suspect test it has been through. So yeah, it was of course suspect tested earlier in the generation, and it just passed uh, the threshold for not being banned yeah it was pretty sure a 60 percent majority was needed and it was 59 or something like that so yeah that is pretty much everything on calyrex shadow this is the reason it is being suspect tested and it was technically already banned one of the fastest banned name the fastest ban ever in uber's history and one of the fastest ban overall to be honest so yeah what do you think about calyrex shadow do you think it will be banned? I am certain that it will be banned after Suspect Test. I don't see this Pokemon staying in the tier. I can see it maybe getting retested with um, the DLC. Maybe I felt on all those Pokemon come back. 
but right now there's no way this Pokemon is staying. And I think Meridol might also see a suspect test in the near future. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new because you made it to the end, so you probably like this content, right? So subscribe. <laughs> and um, you know, thank you for watching and see you next time.